Hi, I'm Kyle, and today I wanted to show you how to de-squeeze anamorphic footage in DaVinci Resolve 14. I recently picked up an SLR Magic Anamorphit 1.3340 compact adapter, and this is how I de-squeeze the footage in DaVinci Resolve. Here I have a clip from an A7S with the SLR Magic Anamorphit adapter attached to an SLR Magic 50mm Cine 1.1 lens. And I'm just going to drag the footage into the timeline to create a new sequence, new timeline. And uh, this was shot at Ultra HD 4K on the Sony A7S. And I need to adjust my frame to be the wider aspect ratio for de-squeezing. To adjust the frame size for the timeline, I'm going to click on the cog in the bottom right hand corner. And because the free version of DaVinci Resolve doesn't let us go much bigger than full HD, uh, I'm just going to stretch out the horizontal axis. I will multiply 1920 by 1.33. That gives me 2,553.6. I'm just going to round down and change this to 2,553. Uh, this will give me the wider aspect ratio, and now I just need to stretch the footage to match the aspect ratio. So I will click on the clip in the timeline, select the inspector in the top right, uh, unpair the X and Y axis for uh, zoom, and I will adjust the X axis to 1.33. There we go. I have uh, stretched out my sequence frame and stretched out the file frame and I can continue editing, adding more clips, adjusting the uh, X axis for all of the clips and then export or deliver my footage right out of DaVinci Resolve as is. That's how to de-squeeze anamorphic footage in DaVinci Resolve. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll see you next time.